Convolution is a mathematical operation of processing a signal with a system, like an echo effect. If we know the impulse response of a system, we can process any signal we like, a recording of a vocal, guitar, drums, whatever we like, by using convolution. This is what makes an impulse response so powerful. In MATLAB, we can perform convolution by using the built-in function. So let's switch over to MATLAB and look at another way to implement echo effects by using an impulse response and convolution. Here in MATLAB, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the built-in convolution function to implement a couple different audio effects that have time delay. I've already started this script called convolution example. The first step is to import in our audio file. This will be our input signal. So I'll call the variables here, our input and our sampling rate that we'll assign using the audio read function. We'll go out onto our current folder on our hard drive and import in this acoustic guitar sound file. Next up, we'll import in our impulse responses. These are sound files that we saved previously that represent our system, our audio effect. On our current folder, we have a sound file that we created from a previous video called echo impulse response. So this one will assign to a variable called H that represents our system. Now we just need to use the built-in function to perform convolution. So the function has a name CONV and we're going to use our input signal and we're going to use our system H. And we'll assign the result to our output. For comparison's sake, let's run the script the first time and just listen to our input signal. And then we'll run the script again and listen to our output signal. Now let's listen to the processed version. So you can hear that this creates an echo effect. Next thing I'll demonstrate is a different impulse response. This is for reverberation. So out on our hard drive, we have a different sound file named Reverb IR. Now the interesting thing about this one, it's actually a stereo file. So H will have two different columns. So to do this convolution, what I'm going to do is actually separate H into two things. Of H for the left side, which is going to be H where we get out all the rows in the first column. And we'll also have H for the right side, which is our second column. Now we'll perform the convolution separately for H on the left. We'll also have one for the right. Now we'll perform concatenation to create the stereo output. See our output will be equal to, we'll put in our first column, we're going to have the output for the left side, comma, the output for the right side. Now we'll listen back, you should hear the stereo effect. So this is how to use the built-in convolution function within MATLAB to perform the operation of implementing these audio effects that have time delay. We created a mono echo effect and also a stereo reverb effect.